Pregnant women are at increased risk for severe COVID-19 illness, which is why it's recommended they receive the COVID vaccine. Some couples planning to get pregnant or already are pregnant have had some concerns about the vaccine. Gina Bullard has more in this week's Aging and Style. Sarah Eckes was a mom to a one-year-old when she got the COVID-19 vaccine last year. She was also newly pregnant with a baby conceived through IVF, but unfortunately had a late miscarriage. The 41-year-old was due for her booster when they decided to try again, so she got her shot before her egg transfer. I wanted to make sure I was doing everything I could to keep the baby safe. And then again, if I could send, you know, have those antibodies passed to the baby, that would be helpful as well. Some people have concerns about getting vaccinated and conceiving now or later. New research is adding to the evidence the vaccine does not affect fertility. There's a lot of anxiety that has occurred around vaccination, around COVID in general. So we need to manage the anxiety by giving people back control. And we do that with good old-fashioned information. In one of the largest studies to date, Dr. Alan Koperman and researchers at Mount Sinai looked at patients going through IVF, vaccinated and unvaccinated. We compared outcomes how many eggs, how many embryos, whether or not they got pregnant. And fortunately, we found no difference whether or not a patient was vaccinated or not and whether or not she got pregnant. Another study finds vaccination in either partner does not affect fertility, but COVID-19 infection in men, especially severe disease, may temporarily reduce fertility. The vaccine can prevent almost all cases of severe COVID, and we can prevent male infertility, and we can promote health and wellness for female fertility all by giving the vaccine to reproductive age people. Sarah runs an infertility support group. I think having this research is going to be really important to reassure women going through treatments. She's 14 weeks pregnant and due in July. Gina Bullard, KCTV 5 News. For more on this segment, just go to our website, kctv5.com, and click on the Aging and Style section.